Hey everyone, Trace Monk here. Thought I'd record some of this. This is a new game called The Talos Principle. It is a first person puzzle game. This weekend I kind of uh, played through part of the, the, the public test that they have available. Uh, right now I'm going to try playing this with my controller because I've got something kind of weird going on with my left arm and I'm trying to avoid using my keyboard luckily I don't think this requires too much in the way of extra twitchy movement if it does you'll see that I go back to the keyboard and mouse really quick <clears throat> Robot hand. Blurry robot hand. Okay. Ooh, there's definitely some. Behold, child. You are here. risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. Okay. B brings up the journal texts. I have to say this is a very, very pretty game. From the developers at Crow Team, the guys behind Serious Sam, and written by the guy who... I th think worked on the swapper and did some of the event text for FTL. <clears throat> Initiating child program logic check. Okay, so force field, can't walk through there. But this is a jammer. I think, and I could be wrong on this, but I think we might be an AI that's kind of testing itself. Oh. On program basic calibration successful. Oh. We got us a mine there. Now, see, that wasn't actually in, like, the... That wasn't in the test thing. Now, we can't really go over there, because we also have a turret. stuff all over this place though. So. Oh, hey, look, it's a QR code. I don't know where I am, but there is something beautiful about this place. I will explore and see what I can discover. Version 17.1.0054. Hello. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's kind of a way back over there. All across this land, I have created trials for you to overcome. And within each, I have hidden a sigil. It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. Oh, another 
QR code. Find myself in a world of impossible architecture and inexplicable machines. Cannot fathom how it works, and I am terrified to put one foot in front of the other lest I fall through the floor. that we've got the you have to kind of collect these tetris pieces these tetrominoes these sigils to unlock parts of the world and once we collect these pieces we'll be able to come over here and complete this little puzzle like it controls that turret. <sighs> What's all around here? Got anything? Got anything? Nope. Okay. I'm pretty sure I can't jam that back here, can I? Oh, I can. Okay. What the... Did that shut the... I think that shut the thing off. Take that. Okay, yes. The turret is shut off. I think I can jam that from here. Shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. Closer to eternity, huh? trying to say I'm outnumbered because I've got this one jammer. Okay, 
so I've got that one jammer. Jammer. Get that on the other side of that force field, and then come over here, jam that, <clears throat> and then well done, child. Only one more sigil is needed. Hello? Okay, yeah. Sorry, for some reason I thought I had I might not have turned the mic back on. I don't know why, but I thought that for just a second. I've been turning it off, I've been muting it when I have to cough. Riding the beaten path. Okay. So it goes all the way down there. have the mines and the turrets and the little uh, thing there. I am wondering though, I'm kind of like, while I'm here, can I get some of these other things? And it's kind of like, yeah, there's a yellow L shape and a green straight one through there. And there's a green L shape through here. Like, does it think I can actually do these right now? Oh my child, you do not <laughs> need to collect all sigils at once. You are free to return to this place whenever you choose. Okay, well, we'll just go on then. We will eventually collect them all, I think. There's something like a hundred puzzles in this game, at least. how it's like going like okay nope uh yeah what do we have here 
My eyes have been opened. This world is not without order. It is shaped by a great designer with signs important to guide my steps. I am one of his children, and challenges are set before me to test my faith. 1ws slash faith v10.1.0011 Whatever the end goal of this grand challenge is, it's far out of reach. Knowing that, how are we supposed to resist distraction? Hmm. Ah, yes, the first terminal. See? Robot hands again. Nadia Sarabhai at Institute for Applied Nematics. I don't know what nematics is. Let me look this up real quick here. Oh, and that's what that ding was a second ago. It was something trying to tell me I needed to do something. Although not really. of or related to the understanding of things. Hmm. Okay. So Nadia is telling Alexandra, welcome to the team. Hi again. Sorry if I was a little odd at the meeting. I know you were nervous, but the truth is that so was I. This may be hard to believe, but you intimidate me. You're so young, and you were already accomplished so much. If the situation wasn't so grim, I might even be jealous. The situation is grim? Hmm, why is the situation grim, I wonder? There's also something that I wanted to clarify. I realize that nominally speaking, I'm head researcher here, but this is your project and everyone will respect that. And yes, I know you're not used to working like this, but as of today, you're in charge. No pressure. Grin. Let's do this, Nadia. Okay. Athena 6. Chapter 6. Athena in the Garden of the Hesperides. Something did not trust them, but they moved with such grace, such nobility, that it was hard not to follow them further into this strange garden of gears and cogs. They led her to a place where the crowns of the brass trees seemed to grow together, forming a kind of chamber strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree made of bright blue steel, and upon this tree grew a single golden apple. This apple, the nymphs said in unison, their eyes aglow, confers the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes, and not a few villains, have come to claim it, but all faltered in the final step. For you must know that deathlessness reveals the mortality of the world, and true wisdom its unending folly. Well, who would take this burden upon themselves? Some say that Heracles, F. Load, that stuff, gazing upon the stars and wept. Hmm. Yeah, I would say that deathlessness does reveal, would reveal the mortality of the world. It's a lot easier to see that everything dies if you don't. Not sure what it means by true wisdom, it's unending folly, though. I guess that finding true wisdom is just nearly impossible. Maybe? Figure it out. Ooh. 
from percent 442li to 69.74.657 at 2.61.746.96 subject F6E the way I see it the world doesn't come with a manual you gotta figure it out for yourself a bit here a bit there put it together try to make sense of it I'm pretty sure there is a truth but that doesn't mean everyone who claims to know it really does then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world, and searching for the truth can be a real adventure. Plus, it's good for the brain. Anyway, just some rambling thoughts from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're young. You've got loads of time to figure it all out. Love, Dad. Hmm. Okay, let's run the MLA. <laughs> Understand is a strong way to put it, but yes. Describe your functions. Designed primarily to sort and classify data in the library archive. Secondarily, it facilitates user interaction with library resources via an intuitive human language interface. Also provides powerful networking and troubleshooting functions. How old are the library archives? Uh, July 1995 to June 23rf? So does that mean 2045 like it's hexadecimal? Or should I take that whole thing as hex? In which case I'm not really sure what that relates out to. Like. I don't know. Really, really large number. Uh, <clears throat> 47 million resources in the archive, taking up 5.42 petabytes of disk space, 30 billion photos, oh, approximately the size of 40 bi 30 billion photos, 7 million minutes of HD video, or the entire internet in 2003. However, the majority of the resources are corrupted or invalid, and only 10.7 gigabytes of uncorrupted resources are indexed. What are these terminals? Terminals provide access to the library resource archive. How long has this system been running? It's been active for 999E years. Progressive data corruption is inevitable in any system over time. Additionally, a large number of inconsistencies were detected during sorting, leading to greater than average data invalidation. Elohim is a noun for God or gods in modern and ancient Hebrew. <laughs> you are logged in with a guest account. You are currently in a support session with the MLA. Your library archive session may be resumed at any time. done with that. So now see we can look at B here and look at these texts again if we want to. Let's see this. I, see I'm not really sure. It looks like it's like uh, see that like that's a local thing. That's in the literature archive. That's in some other sort of archive from the year 2032. That's from 1912, current era. Oh.
kind of interesting. I might have to turn the graphics down just a little bit to make it not hitch as much. It doesn't hitch much to begin with, but it does hitch a bit. Make sure that there's not any obvious, you know, seams in these walls here. Any obvious places I could maybe jump up. Jumping is going to be a little bit more awkward with the controller. Anyway, folks, I'm a Trace Monk, and uh, this has been a first look at the Talos Principle. Join me again when we go deeper into the temple or towards the temple or whatever we're doing right now.